The March on Washington and Martin Luther King Jr.'s 1963 speech also helped inspire the Chicano Civil Rights Movement, and now many immigrant rights activists draw from the Civil Rights Movement. Andrea Guerrero is Executive Director of Alliance San Diego, a group that pushes for social justice and helps put on the annual Martin Luther King All People's Breakfast. Andrea, how big a role did Latinos play in the 1963 March on Washington? Latinos were present at the march because the civil rights issues that affected African Americans also affected them. The signs, whites only, referred to their exclusion as, as well as the African Americans. Often the signs would say no blacks and no uh, Hispanics or no Mexicans and so they were in the same boat in that respect. They didn't exist in the same proportion in the southeast where the civil rights movement was forged. Uh, their fight was more on the west coast, but they were certainly present in the 1963 march. And they were also subjected to a polling tax when they went to vote? That's right. The, the white-only laws, uh, segregation laws that existed in this country existed uh, for the purpose of excluding blacks, Mexican-Americans, as they were then called, uh, Jews, other individuals. So they shared some of the same discrimination, but how did the Chicano movement differ at all from the black civil rights movement? Well, the, the black civil rights movement, the civil rights movement was a movement for equality and dignity for all. And so although the main actors in that movement were African American, their fight was for dignity and equality for all. And that's that's the message of Dr. Martin Luther King. The Chicano movement happened in the West Coast and it was related to the agricultural fields and the, the battle over the treatment of migrant workers. Uh, it certainly expanded into other realms because segregation laws were in place uh, at the, you know, the restaurants, in the housing, at the lunch counters, et cetera, et cetera. So, we know that uh, Chicanos were very much involved in fighting for their rights. They found agencies in themselves as people that could determine their own destiny, as did the African Americans in other parts of the country. The civil rights movement launched by African Americans in this country influenced all the movements that came after, including the Chicano movement. And so Cesar Chavez, who was trying to improve the working conditions of, of migrant workers, the poor, and, and Latinos in general, he um, received a telegram from Martin Luther King Jr. saying that, that he and the civil rights uh, activists were together with him in spirit and determination. What was their relationship like? They were supportive of one another. They knew each other and where they could help one another they did. I think the most significant relationship they had was that uh, Cesar Chavez took his teachings from Dr. Martin Luther King and he learned the principles of nonviolent resistance that Dr. King himself had learned from Mahatma Gandhi in India and he carried that legacy forward. So you just returned from Washington, D.C., commemorating the march, the 50th anniversary of the march. What was the atmosphere like there? It was riveting. It was a momentous occasion, and we were thrilled to be a part of it. We saw a diversity of interests, a diversity of people, and it was really heartwarming to see a solidarity in this country for change, for social movement uh, that, you know, that's rare to see, and we hope to, to bring that legacy back to San Diego and continue the fight for equality, dignity, and justice. And we've got to end it there. Andrea Guerrero, thank you for coming on the program. Thank you.